colorectal cancers are cancer of the large intestine. Large intestine starts at the end of small intestine and ends at the anal verge, that the termination of the intestinal part at the outermost opening. Colorectal cancers are now very common in the eastern part of the world. Previously, it was a cancer of the western world due to their lifestyle. Colorectal cancers can arise from either right side of the colon, left side of the colon, and even the terminal part of the colon that is called rectum. The usual symptom of colorectal cancers are sense of incomplete evacuation. Patient usually complains that even after the morning normal routine, patient feels that he has to go to the toilet again and again, or sometimes bleeding through the rectum, sometimes excessive mucus discharge, or change in the bowel habit. These symptoms may not necessarily be a manifestation of colorectal cancers, sometimes inflammatory bowel disease, any infection of the large intestine may give rise to these symptoms as well. But don't linger your symptoms and depend on the basic treatment for the other kind of infection. Get your intestine checkup and the first investigation or clinical examination is just distal rectal examination by a trained surgeon. If you have some problem in the upper part of the rectum or remaining colon, endoscopy is recommended. That is viewing, viewing all the colon and rectum, the telescope and if required taking a biopsy. If biopsy confirms that is a ca cancer, then serum CEA which is a tumor marker for the colorectal cancer is recommended and staging workup is needed to plan for the further treatment. Before planning for the treatment, we recommend a staging of the disease in the form of CT scan of the abdomen, imaging of the chest and serum CEA. Most of the colorectal cancers are being detected in the curable stage and the primary cornerstone of the treatment is surgery followed by adjuvant treatment. Cancer of the right side of the colon requires excision of the right side colon, technically we call it right hemicolectomy and left side of colon requires left hemicolectomy. Sometimes colon cancer is situated in the transverse colon and we require transverse colectomy. The main area of importance as far as the morbidity of the patient is concerned after surgery is cancer of the rectum. Cancer of the rectum situated 5 cm above the anal verge, there is no lifetime morbidity related to surgery and the surgery consists of removal of the tumor and creation of the tract by mobilization of the remaining colon. But if cancer is situated well below, for example, 3 cm from the anal verge, most of the time patient requires permanent colostomy and excision of the tumor. Permanent colostomy sometimes has some myth associated, but to cure the cancer, we have to accept the colostomy part. It does not give rise to any kind of infection in future and no social impact on your day to day routine life. After surgery, patient requires adjuvant treatment in the form of chemotherapy or chemotherapy along with the radiotherapy. Cancer of the colon requires only chemotherapy after the surgery, while cancer of the rectum may need radiotherapy in the post-operative period. After your treatment is over, follow-up is required at three monthly basis by clinical examination by an oncologist, distal rectal examination when needed, serum CEA, and whenever required, abdominal and thoracic imaging. Because colorectal cancer is now common in this part of the world, to detect it early, we have to concentrate on the early symptoms and sign of the cancer. If detected early, it can be cured.